It's Will. I'm here today trying something different. I've never made this recipe and I'm doing it on camera for the first time. I've never made it before so there may be some mistakes like there aren't mistakes in my other stuff. But anyway, there may be a couple of mistakes. Anyway, um, here we go. Following Chef Art Smith on Twitter and he gave me some great pointers on a couple of things for cookies and I wanted to make um, one of the recipes listed on his website under his favorite recipes and it's called a hummingbird cake. So, um, we have all of our ingredients here. Three and cups all-purpose flour. We have two cups granulated sugar. We have one teaspoon baking soda and one of those three dishes right there. I don't know which one it is. I hope I don't put the wrong one in the wrong place. One teaspoon ground cinnamon. A half teaspoon salt. Two cups chopped ripe bananas. They're ripe, real ripe. One cup drained crushed pineapple. One cup vegetable oil. Two eggs. Oh, I missed one. One cup. What is that? Two eggs, large cupped eggs beaten. One and a half teaspoons vanilla extract. It's in the wrong order. One cup, four ounces, finely chopped pecans. There we go. And that's for the cake. Now that you know what the ingredients are, the first thing we have to do is, it says, um, position the racks on the center and the bottom of the oven. So they're there, center and the bottom of the oven. And then what I'm going to do is turn on the oven to be um, temperature 350. So we're preheating. The oven is doing its magic. So we're preheating. Okay. So that's done. Next thing. Have, this is a layered cake, it, um, so we have two nine-inch rounds, that's about nine inches, nine-inch rounds, um, and I'm going to use this Baker's Joy. Uh, it calls for, if you want to grease it and then flour and do all that kind of stuff, I'm lazy. So, I'm going to use the Baker's Joy, um, and it does a really nice coating of that and there's a little bit of flour in this so it will help to keep from sticking I hope anyway <laughs> since I've never made this before this may be a disaster but we'll see okay so those are ready okay. so it says sift the flour, sugar, baking soda, cinnamon and salt into a bowl sifter got it back okay so no, I gotta put everything in a bowl. <laughs> do you, do you want to help? No. Nope. Come on, come no. on and help. You can help. Here, read the directions. What am I supposed to do? Don't stand in front of the camera. They gotta see me. <laughs> That's the most important part. All right. So I think I'm going to, to cross the camera and go over <laughs> here so I'm not seen too much in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm so supposed to sift oh, sip flour and baking soda and cinnamon and salt into a bowl. Okay. What are you doing? I'm trying to sift this into a bowl. You have to put it all in there together. I have to sift it into the bowl. Can you read? <laughs> you put this in a big damn bowl. I can't do it. It's three cups. Sifting. What am I supposed to else, what else am I supposed to put in there? Salt, cinnamon, baking soda. Is that these three right sugar. here? Sugar. Yes. Baking soda. Baking soda. Salt, cinnamon. That's salt. salt. Can you tell them how much any of this? Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Remember? No. In the direction. No, but I'm gonna post a picture of the oh, yeah. thing. If our internet will ever start working again. Clear wireless on nerves. Clear wireless, that's what it's called. Sugar. Sift. That helps. It's a lot of sugar. It's a lot of sugar. Oh my Wait till you see how much oil there is. It's going to take me forever. That's good enough. <laughs> In a separate bowl. In a separate bowl. Combine banana whisk, 
With stir or whisk. Uh, whisk. Whisk. <clears throat> whisk. Banana pieces. Two cups of banana pieces. Two cups of banana pieces. Still more in there. <sighs> they were ripe. So they got stuck. Okay. Oven's done. What else? Pineapple. Pineapple was half a cup. Is that right? I don't know. Something like that. Oil. Oil. Eggs and How much vanilla. How oil was this? A cup? Oh. Oh, wow. oh, wow. Heart. That's a lot of oil. <laughs> Egg. Wait. Uh, it says vanilla. Oh. How much and vanilla? And eggs. How much vanilla? I don't know. That much. That much vanilla. However much that was. I hope you read the chart right. Otherwise, we're going to have a really vanilla-y oil <laughs> cake. <laughs> okay. So we're whisking this together. And then what else? Eggs. Eggs. But the eggs were supposed to be beaten. So I'm going to go ahead and beat the eggs a little bit. I believe. Is that right? We go look up at the things and make sure that it says eggs beaten. I'm worried about how much vegetable oil. Yes, two large eggs beaten. How much vegetable oil was supposed to be in there? I was going to get real mad. That is a cup, isn't it? <laughs> That's a cup. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I have a history of not reading directions very well. Alright, what's next? So we've done all this together. And the reason why you have to have your bananas pretty ripe is so that they're mostly they mostly kind of dissolve, I think. Pour into the dry mixture and fold together with a large spatula until smooth. Do not beat. All right. It's so not very good at this part. I'm not very good at this part. So we you, don't you don't get some to fold with? Spatula. <laughs> Pour into. Fold. Pour it in. All the whole thing. Whole thing. So it's the whole thing. Pour it in. It's all in there. It smells very banana -y. Don't beat. Fold. This cake is a lot. It's supposed to serve them like 12 people. The next step is to fold the pecans. You ready? Yeah. Wow. You know, I hope I like hummingbird cake. <laughs> no, <laughs> because we're going to have a lot of it. <laughs> Art it looks good. good. The art this better be good. <laughs> don't disappoint us. Don't disappoint us here in Cincinnati. If you're done combining everything, this is kind of what your mixture looks like. Don't look like no hummingbird to me, but we'll see what happens. All right. Now, remember these that I sprayed. Get out of the way. I'm getting. You stood there. Remember these that I sprayed. Spread evenly into the pans. Okay. This bowl's real heavy. We had to make sure that they were even out. That's pretty good. All right. So here's what they look like. Move. Why didn't you break? I'm not a very good demonstrator. <laughs> here's what they look like. Even. Okay. Now. Same rack. Oh, let's go with 30, since our oven's a little weird. We'll be right back. They're done. Will! They're done. Will! Yeah. They're done? Okay, done. Look. See? Nice. So hopefully 
what will happen is this. Oh, look at that. Yay. It feels really good. They feel um, like they're done. Great. All right. So these are supposed to cool completely. They may not get completely cool, but what we're going to do is um, next I'm going to show you how to make the topping for there. So here we go. For this icing we need 8 ounces of cream cheese, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a stick of butter, thank you Paula D, I mean Chef Art Smith, and a pound of confectioner sugar. This is 2 pounds, but it doesn't come any smaller, so we're using half of this. Like that. Okay. Alright. So, to make icing, using an electric mixer on high speed, beat the cream cheese and butter in a large bowl <laughs> until combined. I'm going to use the KitchenAid mixer with the little scraper attachment that I've used before. So, cream cheese first. We need a spatula. The baker in Tony really likes the confectioner sugar. And is ready to I use the started a little early. He got he is ready to use the confectioner sugar. <laughs> Though I'm not sure it needs to be this soft. The cream cheese is well at room temperature. <coughs> and this room is pretty warm. <laughs> so, right here. Oh, right here. So, it is important that all this stuff be at room temperature because if it's not, it'll be lumpy. It'll be lumpy. And it may be lumpy anyway, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so butter. And cream cheese, one stick of butter in the mixer. Make sure you raise the thing up. Do the slowly. We're mixing in the confectioner sugar, which is really powdery. Don't lick your fingers. What are you chewing on? Gum. See, he's smart. Because he put gum in his mouth. So I can't have any. So he can't have any stuff. Because till it's time. I need gum in my mouth so that I don't try to eat everything. This, not salmonella, in the sink. Alright, so we spread this around. Now this is like the glue that's going to hold these two pieces of cakes together. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. There we go. Second cake is on there. Now, we're gonna put it all on. We're gonna finish icing this. We'll be back in just a second. Cake cutter. All right, dig it in. Ooh! It's a little dry. Let's see how it tastes. It's the first time I've ever made this cake. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us once again. Bye!